Salutations, everybody. It is Maddie here today. I hope you're all doing stupendous. Now, for those of you who pay close attention to the video game calendar, you'll know that yesterday was a very significant day, not only for some gamers, but my community especially. It was the four-year anniversary of the launch of Fallout 4. Now, for me, Fallout 4 was not just another hype game release, and it was not just another building block for my channel. For me, Fallout 4 was a life-changing journey, and I wanted to highlight that in today's reflection. Also, I wanted to give you guys a chance to talk about it too, because when I see in my comments people are reminiscing, or on Twitch streams when they reminisce, they always go back to 2014 slash 2015. And so I encourage you to maybe share your stories down below if you're comfortable on how Fallout 4 impacted you, if at all. So I'll get things started by talking about way before Fallout 4 even happened, where I remember searching for any semblance of Fallout 4 existing. I'd get up, I'd look at Twitter and see if Eric Todd Delms, voice actor of 3Dog, put out any cryptic tweets to indicate the existence of Fallout 4. I'd look at Pete Hines to see if he responded to any fans begging for Fallout 4. I'd go for trademarks, I'd look at the Bethesda store, anything to indicate that Fallout 4 very well may exist to the point where I just wanted to will it into existence. I was going for. I was borderline obsessed with just being right that this game would exist. And fortunately, come 2015, before E3, Bethesda did confirm that they would, in fact, be making Fallout 4 with a teaser, which we then dug into the source code on the website and found that this would be Fallout 4, there would be a trailer. The hype around the community was palpable, it was exciting, it was something I'll never forget, just having constant excitement and energy for multiple weeks on end as if I was on cloud nine. There really wasn't any type of euphoric feeling for video game hype, quite like what Fallout 4 provided me. And you could see a lot of the world really shared that excitement because when Bethesda did their first ever E3 conference, the people were screaming, roaring, supporting them because this was far before Bethesda fell. This was when they were one of the last standing, truly respectable AAA developers who took their time with some of their products. And although they had some bugs in them, there was a level of charm. There were these impressive worlds. They had excellent quests, solid writing, stuff that you could really respect at that point in time. Obviously things have changed a little bit, which makes these stories a little bit more difficult to reflect on but as i said the journey throughout fallout 4 for me was a lot more of a life-changing one because i was a youngling not that i'm old now i'm 24 but i was 19 when fallout 4 was first announced and i was going on 20 and for me my channel was blown up at the same time i remember being an idiotic kid you know making my mistakes there was one time bethesda did not get the news wrong, and I blame them anyway because I was just self-conscious about getting things wrong, and I learned there some accountability. I remember my near-perfect review where I learned the actual weight of words during reviews where, although I would have still recommended the game, I probably wouldn't have recommended it as heavily nowadays, and that was a sign that I needed to grow up a little bit if I wanted to be taken seriously because during that point in time with the near-perfect review, anything I posted, anything Bethesda posted, would have something about near perfect. And to sort of feel like you were a joke to so many people, it was kind of damaging for a while because you always wondered, would I even have a future on this platform or would I constantly be referred to as just some kind of meme who loved Bethesda? And so it took a while, a really long while, I'd arguably say up until this year to get a lot of people to understand that I had changed and I didn't change for the sake of changing, but I wanted to better myself as a person because we got to fast forward a little bit to after Fallout 4, a little bit after Nuka World, where I recorded just a unscripted, awful rant talking about how people were just hating on Fallout 4 because of that and how could they ever do that. And I was like really just personally attached to the game at this point, right? Like I had eventually developed a connection to this game that was way too strong for just some type of product. At the end of the day, these are games that I know they bring us meaningful experiences and get us through tough times, but you should never develop a legitimate connection to a product where you will forget morals and just defend it because it hurts you. And I did that and naturally, as a lot of you guys know, Rags called me out, rightfully so. And I remember during that moment in time, I sat there for the entire day at my computer just thinking, just thinking. I didn't eat a speck of food. I just locked up my room and I just sat there and thought. I reflected on, was I wrong? Could I have worded it better? 
How do I respond? Do I try to clap back? Do I defend myself? Do I look like a walking mat? Do I try to have some accountability here? Ultimately, what's best for me as a person? And ultimately, I realized what I just said earlier, I had attached myself too much to this game. I had to change, I had to grow up, and ultimately, I had to be more objective because you can still love things and be critical. And this was something that had yet to ever really cross my mind because as a lot of you know, throughout the journey through Fallout 4, I was very much in love with pretty much anything Bethesda did, which was okay. It's just that when there was the time to be critical, when Bethesda did something wrong, there was always this unintentional, mind you, softer approach because I just didn't realize because I liked so much of what they did. I always felt it outweighed the negative. And so ultimately, these major steps in Fallout 4 between its pre-release, the review, and the post-launch, we'll say, help define my career. Because I feel like if I didn't make these mistakes or these missteps and had the fun I had on top of that and ultimately embraced change and embraced the challenge and made sure I didn't let anyone knock me down, even if I felt like no one would respect me, that I was determined to earn that respect, to earn that credibility. I don't think if it were for Fallout 4, I would be the person I am today, who carries themselves a lot better, who I'd say is a little bit more professional at times. I still like making my amateur jokes, don't get me wrong here, but I still think I carry myself with a level of maturity and have ultimately changed for the better. And that's really not something that any other game has or could provide because it came at a time where I was much younger. You were a little bit more, I guess, moldable, we'll say. And I had the opportunity to change, to work out some kinks in my personality, to work out some kinks in how I critiqued and developed my profession a little bit. And ultimately, it brings me to just giving you guys some love. I mean, I know this isn't all about me, but I thank you for giving me multiple chances, right? Like you guys gave me the chance to develop and I always say that in my videos that if it weren't for my audience who just continuously believed in me, I don't know where I would be today because my family, my friends did, but you guys were the ones who ultimately had to click on the videos and tune in and listen to what I had to say and give me a chance and maybe share my content. I know there was a period of time where, like I said, where I was Mr. Near Perfect and everyone was memeing me that it was hard to almost support me publicly because if you went on reddit and shared one of my videos at the time people would be like oh my god get him out of here people were very much against me and i'm not trying to make it like i was public enemy number one a lot of people did not like me because they felt i lacked a critical element and part of that was kind of stupid because some people just didn't like the fact that i loved games which is something that no one should ever ever no matter what even if it's one of the worst games of all time take away from you you love what you have to love but i digress i'm ranting now at this point i just really appreciate you guys fallout 4 was a life-changing journey for me and I don't think I would be the person I am without that game. So I'd love to hear from all of you in the comments down below. Did Fallout 4 change your life at all? Is there any fond memories you have during this journey? Let me know. I'd love to read them and I'm sure other people would as well. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.